And before we get to Sunday, let's get right back to your Friday morning. Eric and Grace out on the midway at the fairgrounds talking all about what the state fair has in store. Good morning to you too. Good morning, right back at you. And listen, we're in the VIP area, which normally would be great for all of us, but it's not so great for Grace because it's kind of her worst nightmare because she's got two Eric's to deal with right now. We've got Eric German here with us. Good morning. Good morning to you, sir. All right, Eric. So, uh, you like Eric's. The other Eric said <laughs> we're in the VIP area uh, where you can find a couple of things that are in short supply at the Kentucky State Fair, which are fans and chairs. Exactly. So the VIP experience includes this VIP lounge with cooling misters and, and fans and a nice tent to keep the sun off of you. Uh, also has uh, private bathrooms and um, comes with food ordering uh, availability, so you can order any of the great food that's on the Midway and we'll bring it to you. Oh. And last but not least, uh, most popular is the fast pass portion where there's no waiting on uh, when you go out to ride the rides. Okay, well that sounds like the place I need to be. Okay, yeah, you've, you've laid out the, the framework here for something <laughs> that makes us very, very happy. How do you go about it? Uh, I, I'm sure there's a cost associated sure. with this. Talk us through some of the details. Yeah, so it's a, it's a simple upgrade from the regular wristband, so it's an extra $20 per wristband. You can buy it in advance online, kisselentertainment.com, or you can buy it here at the Welcome Center when you arrive. When you leave the VIP area, there's some really cool stuff that Kissel has planned. Tell us about some of the new rides this year. Well, new ride Samurai, which is a family fun ride, uh, thrill ride. And then also new this year is our affiliation with Culture City for people who have sensitive sen uh, sensory sensitivities. Um, and we have uh, full kits that they get for free for <clears throat> with headphones, uh, Fitbits, and some other uh, gadgets or fit gadgets to help them deal with all the noise that's out here. Yeah. So for 40 years, this is a trick of the trade question. For 40 years, I've been trying to figure out how to go from having nice food or a lot of food and then get on a thrill ride. Is there a technique that I'm missing because it doesn't work well for me? I would ride all your thrill rides before lunch. That's my <laughs> tip. It's the sequence of it's it the all. Sequence. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then you can eat, you want to finish up with a nice funnel cake and a milkshake. I, I wouldn't do a funnel cake and a milkshake and ride a fun ride or thrill ride. We've all seen, we see what happens when that every day here, we see that the effects of that. I feel seen, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Eric, we know that you are the man with the good advice. So Sam, when you come out here to the fair this weekend, I know you're gonna be taking Eric's advice. Yes, I am gonna make sure I uh, get on the rides first before eating all that food after that.